Hey y'all, Vinny here with today's devotional. Hey, I'm uh, watching the news last night and I'm seeing things on there that are, um, you can't help but laugh at, at life sometimes. All right, so uh, Britney Spears released her bo new book, Memoirs, or something like that, and and people are just all excited about it, and all over it, and wanting to read it, and wanting to know, and, and I'm laughing to myself because uh, the whole thing seems silly to me, uh, especially with everything everything that's going on in the world, right? Uh, the Bible tells us that in, in the end times, just as it was leading up to Noah's flood, that uh, people would just be living life. They're going to be doing things like normal. They're going to be getting married. They're going to be having festivals. Uh, they're going to um, have their ce favorite celebrities in today's age uh, just uh, uh, be enthralled by them. You know, we got all the Taylor Swift is all over the news also for for what she does. And uh, I'm not knocking uh, those two ladies. They have their life. They can do what they want. But what is interesting to me is um, here we have everything going on in, in uh, Israel right now. We have all kinds of concerns around the world of wars. We're hearing rumors of wars, right? And uh, uh, people just are living life here in America. And I'm not knocking anything. Don't, don't think I'm knocking anything that anyone's doing. But uh, it just gets my attention that uh, life goes on. Uh, no matter what's going on in the world, life goes on. And sometimes we have good days, sometimes we have bad days uh, in our personal lives that have no influence on the rest of the world. And sometimes it seems like the rest of the world has no influence on us. But here's what you need to know. You need the blood of Christ for salvation. You need his covering. You need that forgiveness to be in, in uh, communion with the, uh, the Lord our God, right? Take that seriously. Take your walk with, with Jesus seriously. Take your walk in in uh, spending time with our Father, our Heavenly Father seriously. Take time to listen for the Holy Spirit. Never forget that the Bible tells us the lion or the devil walks around like a lion, lion, <laughs> sinking who he may devour. He's looking out for anyone to distract. He's looking out with, for anyone to destroy, to turn away from God, to, to turn away from uh, his love, God's love for us, and to focus on our own circumstances. He's looking for any way to distract us from that truth, any way that might turn our heads away from the devil. Keep this in mind. The devil doesn't need us to worship him for him to win. He just needs us to turn away from God. He's, he doesn't have to have us worship him. Maybe you've never thought of that. I don't know. But uh, I realized that a long time ago. All he has to do is distract us and we can fall away from God on our own temptations, on our own, uh, on our own accord because we're just that kind of people. That's the way life is. So keep the main thing the main thing. Keep your focus on Christ, your walk with the Lord. Keep your focus on God, our Creator. And keep listening for the Holy Spirit to keep you safe, to keep you aware of situations, and to keep you moving forward on the right path. Have a great day, Dexter Lake. We'll see you.